Hi everyone, so as you may or may not know, I bought some more shares for the $1,000 project. And in this Sugar Mama portfolio, um, it's going really well. I've invested over $10,000 and the passive income is officially over $500 a year. So I'm 25% of the way towards achieving my ultimate goal, which is to have the passive income up to $2,000 a year by July 2016. And yes, I know I've got a long way ahead of me. I'm going to have a very busy um, first uh, six months of 2016, but I'm definitely feeling extremely motivated and um, driven and determined to get this portfolio and the passive income to where it needs to be um, by this date. So the other day I was going through my mail and um, I received, which is expected, letters from the companies um, confirming my ownership, I guess, and my number of units in the company that I purchased, as well as some forms for me to complete. And this is a very standard process, but um, when in Australia, when you buy shares, um, they send you a letter, um, obviously confirming your ownership of the shares and um, requesting things like, you know, your email address for correspondence, um, your tax file number, um, you need to sign the form, and uh, most importantly, they ask for your bank details because they need to know where to deposit your dividends. And in Australia, typically um, companies pay dividends twice a year. Now in Australia, when you own shares in a fairly large size company um, on the ASX, sometimes they give you two options when it comes to paying um, dividends. The main option is they just pay that money, um, that, that dividend um, into your bank account and just gets deposited and paid as, as per usual. Another option, which is not always available, is a, called a dividend reinvestment plan. And when I was going through my mail, um, you know, looking at these forms I had, where I bought two different stocks, one company offers a dividend reinvestment plan, the other one doesn't. So for this one, I'm just going to put my bank details on this and I'm going to expect the company to pay my dividends as per usual into the Sugar Mama cash account. But I love dividend reinvestment plans. I'm really, I think it's a fantastic way of building a portfolio organically without you having to put too much effort into it. And I'm going to go through the benefits and the risks in a second. But essentially what a dividend reinvestment plan is when you enroll in it, instead of having the money paid to you and deposited into your bank account, you forego that and you choose to actually um, accumulate more shares in the company at a, a determined or a pre-agreed um, unit price. Now, um, you still have to pay tax on that, on that dividend, but it means you're able to increase your units or number of shares in the company without having to pay any brokerage costs and sometimes companies offer dividend reinvestment plans at a discount to the current share price, sometimes by as much as 5%. So for the $1,000 project, I am, um, I guess, fiercely um, passionate about growing the portfolio as much as possible because as the portfolio grows, the, the long-term passive income is also going to grow as well. Well, that's the plan. And um, by you know, participating where possible in a dividend reinvestment plan, I'm able to help the capital value of the portfolio and my, I guess, my ownership of the business um, continue to grow and expand um, so that my passive income grows in, over time. So for this particular company, because it's available, I'm definitely going to participate in the dividend reinvestment plan. I'm going to complete this paperwork and send it back to them. Also, you don't actually necessarily need to use snail mail to complete this. You can actually jump online um, with the various um, share registries companies that we have in Australia, such as Link Market Services or the Boardroom or Computer Share, and log in online and actually enroll electronically. But for this company, I'm just going to, they sent me the mail, it in the mail with a return envelope. It will take me 30 seconds to complete it, and I can post it off in the mail and be done with it. So I, for the $1,000 project portfolio, all stock that I buy where they have this dividend reinvestment plan available, I'm definitely taking up because I'm looking at a long-term growth of the portfolio and while I'm adding money um, through investing towards the portfolio, this is another form of, a, of this, um, increasing the power of compounding interest by reinvesting the dividends as well as my contributions to the account. Now, um, as I mentioned, there are lots of benefits of participating in a dividend reinvestment plan. Um, because, you know, when you buy, you buy stock at a certain price, but when you have an automatic dividend reinvestment plan, you don't really need to think about it. It's 
all I mean I never believe anything is a set and forget process but it is to a certain degree in that you don't need to make any decisions when dividends are paid you know you set it up and you know you can almost that the stock and the share portfolio as I said it can organically grow over the long run the other benefit of a dividend reinvestment plan is because the share price is constantly constantly moving as in every second you're able to um, to buy shares um, during different economic cycles and different um, market conditions so you are averaging out your um, entry price into the stock now um, as I mentioned you always have to pay tax on those dividends so if you own shares um, in a company you have to be very meticulous with keeping in all your dividend statements so that when you do your taxes at the end of the financial year you can make sure you declare all dividends that you received even if they weren't paid to you as cash they were reinvested into the company you still definitely have to disclose those now the other benefit to um, a dividend reinvestment plan is obviously your ownership can grow over the long run and I've had amazing discussions with people who've owned stock um, in large Australian companies that sort of set them up you know 20 30 years ago when they bought the stock when they were really young and they have um, naturally accumulated um, multi-million dollar share portfolios simply through taking out and participating in dividend reinvestment plans many many years ago and just letting the portfolio grow um, over the over the long run and never actually touching a dividend now one thing I like to mention about this is I obviously work full-time and I am able to um, I guess I have that luxury not needing to, to take this passive income from the thousand dollar project I can live comfortably off my my salary so um, for you if you're if a dividend check of a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars whatever your dividends might be won't dramatically increase your life and you don't physically sort of need that money for anything urgent or anything important it is um, I think it is very powerful um, and there are a lot of long-term benefits for you to, to be able to reinvest those dividends where possible now of course with everything there are always risks um, with investing and risks in everything we do in life and one of the, I guess, the major risks of um, a dividend reinvestment plan when it's set up and you, you don't change it is that you can end up overexposed to one particular stock. Because obviously, when you build a share portfolio, you never put all your eggs in one basket. You don't just buy one stock. You buy, you know, a portfolio with lots of different stocks. And normally, I mean, I like to see a portfolio with between 15 and 25 different stocks so that you reduce the investment risk and, and um, you know, it takes risk off the table and actually properly diversify but as I mentioned not all Australian companies um, offer automatic dividend reinvestment plans and occasionally they suspend them uh, which can be which is really annoying when they do that but if you have for example 15 stocks in your portfolio and say five of them are enrolled in a dividend reinvestment plan and you're invested for the long run over time those five companies can end up with a very large um, allocation to those those companies and you potentially could be overexposed to a certain company in that you know for example if you had like a hundred thousand dollars worth of stock you're you know thirty thousand dollars that stock might be with one company because over the long run you've accumulated so many sh units and shares in that company it's out of balance in comparison to the other companies so that is a risk um, with dividend reinvestment plans and you do need to monitor and review, review the portfolio over time or not over time annually to make sure that that risk is controlled and you actually you know add other stocks to the portfolio to keep it diversified so you really do need to be aware of that risk the other risk is that um, if you accumulate a large amount of money in one particular stock through a dividend reinvestment plan and the company goes under because that is again a risk of investing in the share market the risk is that you have you know accumulated all this money and all these units in the share company and you never got the benefit of ever actually receiving any any dividends or passive income from them so that is again another big risk that you need to be aware of but that's the guess the key behind a dividend reinvestment plan and um, but I I do think it is you know when you buy a company you buy a company for the long run and you believe in that company and the industry and the goods and services they're providing and you are diversifying into other stocks um, you know this is a very um, natural and easy way of, of growing the portfolio and it's one key advantage of dividend reinvestment plans that you get that you don't get with property because you obviously you can't reinvest the rent back into a property um, it's not actually physically possible but with shares this is a really nice and easy way of, um, of growing the portfolio over the long run 
So in wrapping up this video, um, I for all stocks that I buy that have an automatic dividend reinvestment plan, I am enrolling in and um, I am going to get back to work because I've got to work out how I'm going to manifest and create the next thousand dollars so I can buy some more shares this week. So um, have a good week. Um, I hope you enjoyed Money Mondays and don't forget you can follow me on Instagram if you enjoy my financial motivation and inspiration and you can also um, like us on Facebook. But I will speak to you very soon and ciao for now. Bye.